The European Commission wants to completely alter the way transport runs across the continent. Announcing its ambitious new proposals on Wednesday, it wants to make travel more sustainable, reducing greenhouse gases by 90% over 30 years. The timetable is long and precise and will require much investment and changes to infrastructure if it's to achieve its goals. By 2030, the EU wants to make 100 European cities climate neutral and to double high-speed trains across the continent, as well as having zero-emission marine vessels ready for the market. By 2035, it wants zero-emission commercial aircrafts ready for the market. And by 2050, it wants nearly all road vehicles to be emission-free, as well as to double rail freight traffic across Europe. But the timetable was so lengthy because such a transformation requires adjustments on a large scale. If we look at uh, zero and low emission vehicles, in order to incentivize the uptake of, we are saying, 30 million of uh, zero emission cars and 80,000 uh, zero emission lorries by 2030. For this, we have to deploy infrastructure, charging points. So we say by 2025, 1 million charging points. Uh, by 2030, 3 million charging points. So uh, these are the type of objectives we are putting in uh, for uh, decarbonization of the transport. On paper, the targets are highly ambitious and clearly good for the environment. But actually achieving them is another thing. It's ambitious. Um, it addresses all transport modes and the need for all modes of transport to be decarbonized as quickly as possible. Um, it puts out a lot of interesting ideas, uh, but you know, the strategy is only ever the beginning of the work. A lot of work needs to be done, a lot of work on the detail. I'll take one, for example, what's going to happen in the aviation sector. The European Commission today said, let's put new fuels into aircraft um, to make sure flying becomes more sustainable. But we don't know quite yet what kind of fuels they're going to use. Are they going to use uh, crop-based biofuels, which have a terrible climate record? Or are they going to seek to develop new types of fuels um, made from renewable electricity? That's still all to play for. A lot to be decided in 2021. Transport accounts for a quarter of the EU's total greenhouse gas emissions, with pollution even increasing in recent years, something the Commission will be hoping to reverse with their new measures.